In today's class, we are going to learn what is emulator, what is content provider, and SQLite programming. First, let's see what is emulator. That is Android Virtual Device, AVD. Okay. That is, it defines the characteristics of Android phone, tablet, operating system or Android TV device that you want to simulate in Android emulator. This simulates the Android devices on your computer so that you can test your application on a variety of devices. So that is Android virtual device. You need a virtual device to check whether or to test whether your project is working or not, right? So that is known as an Android virtual device. And AVD manager is there. It is an interface or it controls the Android virtual device. And this emulator provides almost all the capabilities of a real Android device that is why we are doing testing on this because testing on testing your project in a device in a gadget okay so that is and that device is an android virtual device avd and for controlling it you are having android virtual device manager okay Now let's see how to create an AVD, Android Virtual Device. To create an AVD, op open AVD Manager using tools and then AVD Manager. Create Virtual Device, click on that and select the hardware profile. Select the image, change the AVD properties and then click Finish. So this is the way how to create an AVD. Next, to edit the existing AVD. You are having the AVD and you are go, you need to edit it. Okay. To edit an AVD, click edit this AVD and make the changes. To delete AVD, right click on AVD and select delete or from the menu directly select the delete. To show the associated AVD files on disk, right click on the AVD and select show on disk or select menu and from there, show on disk. To view AVD configuration details that you can include in any bug reports to the Android Studio team, right click on AVD and select view details. Or click on menu and select view details. These are the ways how to use an AVD. You are already having the AVD and you are using it. Okay, if you want to make any changes, you can change it or edit it. Uh, if you want to delete it, you can delete and uh, you can show the associated files on the disk and you can view the AVD configuration. So that is edit existing AVDs. Now to run and stop an emulator and to clear the data. To run an emulator, double click the AVD or click launch. To stop, right click and select right click on the AVD and select stop or click menu and then stop. To clear the data, right click on the AVD and select wipe data or click menu and select wipe data. Very simple steps. Okay, let us run it. One way is double click on that or click launch to stop a running emulator. Right click and select stop or click menu and select stop. To clear, right click on AVD and select wipe data or click menu and select wipe data. Okay. Next is content provider. That is it provides the contents and it is a part of Android application and it will act like a relational database to store the application data for storing the data we are using uh, that is it provides the contents 
and this acts almost similar to a relational database and which helps to show the application data. Content provider manages access to a central repository of data. It, that is, it helps for getting the data. Okay, that is content provider. It provides the contents. Contents means data. So we know if data is there, database will be there, right? Data, relational database is used. So content provider must implement the following methods. Query is there, insert, update, delete, get type and on create. So query, this is a content provider. Implement the following methods. Okay, so query means you are selecting something to retrieve the data from your provider. You are finding something. Okay, so something means data. Next is insert to insert a new data in a particular location to update an existing data to delete something and last one is on create that is initialize your provider that is on create okay so these are the commonly used methods for content providers okay the last topic in today's session is SQLite database. Now we understood what is database and who is providing the database, content provider. SQLite database is an open source, lightweight relational database. is used to store data in structured format. Structured means rows and columns will be there. It comes embedded with Android operating system is used by Android applications to store data in private database. Android provides a standard API. Using standard API, you can create a database and tables and perform create, read, update, delete operations. Database created by an application will be accessible by name to any class of that application, but not outside the application. Okay. By, will be accessible by name to any class of that application. The Android framework uses a concept called content providers to enable applications to share and use data across the platform. So this is about SQLite database. Okay. That is, it is an open source relational database and it helps to store the data in a structured format means rows and columns will be there and there you are storing the data we have seen this query update and all we have seen so the other methods so there also we understood that in a particular location you are storing the data that is row and column and relational database is used within this okay so this is all about sqlite database Hope today's topic was clear for you. Thank you.